Well, howdy, folks. Uh, I'm back again here with you to do another review of another tank. Uh, as some of you may have seen some of my other videos, I've been searching uh, high and low for something that uh, I can bring on an airplane that I don't have to put in a Ziploc and won't leak all over the inside of my bag. Travel for work a lot, and I've uh, pretty much run into every cartomizer, everything that I've run into. I end up getting leakage from the uh, air pressure changes on the plane. So my latest one was actually from a company uh, out in, I believe it was Bulgaria, uh, called VaporArt, uh, or GP is another name that you'll see a lot around. And uh, they claim that this little guy here, the Spheroid 2, will not, is guaranteed to not, leak on the airplane. It said it's absolutely impossible for that to happen. So I'll talk about whether or not it actually happened in a second here. Uh, so first off, what you get with the package is you get this little guy here. It says GP right here. And it's got a number right here at the bottom. This one's uh, 3331. So I don't know if that's the, uh, the serial number, the lot number, or what that is. Um, you also get in the package, uh, you get a little Ziploc. And it's got some wick in it. And I've got the remainder of it right here. Because this is a rebuildable. And it's got a couple of extra seals and uh, some wire as well and it also comes with this little tool which I'll show you what uh, this is for in a second here. Uh, in addition to that it does come with a small package of this fiber fill. Uh, I bought an extra set of fiber fill and also got uh, an extra quantity of wick when I bought it just to uh, just put my my collection of stuff uh, see what it came like. So basically what you get is a pretty straightforward tank. There's no window. Uh, there's nothing in it to um, that's exposed really. You've got a couple of uh, air holes at the bottom here. Uh, I call them air holes because, uh, well, as I'll talk later, I had a little bit of liquid come out of them, so I assume that's what they are. But you also have air holes on the side of the stem right there, and there's another one on this side here. Um, in addition, you've got a little seal uh, right here around the uh, the electrical post uh, to hold it in, uh, I would assume, and uh, and also insulate it away from the uh, the negative or the external case so you don't get shocked. Now, I'll talk about that little seal in a second as well. So first thing I'll do is um, it's kind of interesting. I'll open up the bottom and I'll use this little tool here to show you what that looks like. It's got a reverse threading at the bottom here, so if you crank it clockwise uh, with this little tool you can unscrew the bottom piece where the electronics are here and this let's see here so this comes off right there and you can see it's got uh, three air holes there and um, a seal a little plastic seal and then it's got the uh, air holes on the bottom like I showed you before on the inside you can see the bottom parts of the posts for the uh, wick to go on to and a little air hole there as well. So let me get this guy back on which always seems to uh, take me forever. There we go. So once we screw this on, one thing that you'll notice um, is that the machining on these are really really well done. I have to say that they, they've done a really good job with the tolerances and how they put this together. You know, when I close the unit completely and screw it down, it's very difficult to see the seam on it. Um, so really well made, really well manufactured. Um, so I have to give them a big thumbs up for that. So opening up the main tank part here. Let me get this guy opened up. You'll see that there is a rebuildable wick in here. And uh, this one, obviously, I've been using a little bit. It's got two posts, pretty straightforward for those of you that do rebuildables, the air holes in the center. Uh, the more you bring the wick away from the air hole, the more vapor, the less vapor you're going to, uh, to get out of it, uh, according to the directions. Uh, it's got two posts, uh, a couple little nuts that come off. Uh, this is a four, I think I did four coils around this, just a straight kind of lasso wick there. Uh, and I get about, I think this one comes in about 2.4, 2.6 ohms, somewhere in that neighborhood. Uh, on the inside of the tank, it's pretty straightforward. You can barely see it, but around the center here 
is um, there's a little bit of fiber fill, uh, as I showed you there in the big bag I bought. I'm just going to straighten it out and mash it down a little bit there. So if you look in there, you can see that there's that fiber fill, and that'll hold, um, you know, it'll hold quite a bit of juice. I, I don't know how much I put in. I kind of uh, use it almost like a drip, so I'll, uh, I'll load in some juice on the top here, uh, take off the, the drip tip, which, by the way, it did not come with the drip tip. I'll drip some juice down, and then I'll turn it upside down and spin it so it saturates the, uh, the fiber fill and then that feeds the wick as long as the wick is touching that fiber fill. Uh, really clean, really straightforward, uh, well machined, well done. Uh, so let me screw this back on and I'll show you how it vapes here. Of course I got uh, juice on my hands now. Let me wipe that off a little bit. Get nice and clean. Make sure the bottom's on nice and tight. So the seal's solid. And there as you can see very difficult to see the seal actually with this shot you can't even see it at all um, so really well machined really well done it's a very sleek design we throw a drip tip on there so again um, when I was on the plane and I was getting the leaking I was using this little Segele and I just I just left it on this um, Segele here uh, mod and it has a little drip container. When I got off, there was liquid in there, and the centerpiece was actually fairly filled up. And what uh, really bothered me is that little plastic part, uh, the little plastic spacer there, was actually sitting inside here. And I had used a pair of tweezers. It was so saturated with liquid in there, I had to tweeze it out because uh, I couldn't pop it out. And uh, I reinserted it, and it seems to be uh, in there pretty tight now but uh, something definitely I wasn't expecting and when it came out I really thought uh, boy that was a waste of money and uh, it's done because they don't include one of those in the little kit uh, but I was able to reinsert it and uh, it seems like it uh, it's it's not loose it was at first but I don't know if it was just the air pressure and after a little while the plastic uh, expanded a little bit and, and, and stayed in there tight, but I'm going to test it on the plane right here in about a week or at the end of this week, so I'll know for sure. So let me show you how it vapes here. And I have a 70-30 uh, VG-PG mix in here right now, and uh, I'm let me put it up to uh, 7 watts, uh, about 3.3 .3 volts. I'll give you an idea of how it vapes. So as you can see, it does vape really well. Um, they claim on the site that it's the best flavor that you're going to get from any tank and or any vaporizer. Uh, and I have to say, it's got a, um, it does have a really good flavor to it. As long as you're careful with what you're doing with your power and uh, you don't, uh, of course, uh, burn it up, uh, burn up your wick with too much uh, wattage or voltage, um, then it does actually uh, taste really good. It's got a really nice flavor. It's really smooth. Um, it looks great. I mean, it's very sleek. It's definitely durable. You're not going to, if you drop it, nothing's going to happen to it. You might just scrape up the outer side. Uh, uh, so it's really durable. It's a, it's a very nice, uh, very nice tank. A little bit pricey, and you can go on to uh, Vapor Art and see the price uh, on there. Uh, but it wasn't, uh, it wasn't cheap by any means. But uh, again, like I said, I, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed and I, I hope that VaporArt uh, sees this because it was disappointing that it did leak on the airplane. Uh, not a ton, but uh, definitely did leak and that seal coming off really bothered me. And uh, I could see somebody that uh, if they didn't realize it came off and they unscrewed it and were doing something else that they could lose that, you know, drop it out of here or lose it completely. And... Um, you're done. I mean, you'd have to call them up and get them to send another uh, little plastic uh, seal there. So, um, yeah, not a bad, uh, not a bad device. I'll know if that was just a fluke or if it'll happen again, and I'll report back and put it in the comments uh, on this review. So I appreciate it. Thank you for watching. And again, this is the GP. 
uh, from Vapor Art. It's the uh, Spheroid 2. They have a lot of claims on there about uh, not leaking, and uh, I can thwart those in first hand experience. So, thanks a lot for watching, and uh, catch you on the next review.